We are on a 50 year cycle. That's the way I've, I've estimated it. History repeats itself in cycles. When Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, all hell broke loose, and the teeming masses could not be contained. Some of us saw the destruction of white supremacy being burned up. That's, that's, that's the way some of us looked at it. When Martin Luther King was assassinated in 1968, that started to change in the dynamics of the District of Columbia. So D.C. had to do something. The Washington Technical Institute was created in 1968. It was put into place to address the specific demands and needs of education of the you know, young people here in the district. Ezekiel Nelson is a partner of mine from WTI. We met as soon as he arrived on campus and I observed his work from the beginning. And I just thought of him more of an artist than as a professor. When I came to Washington, I taught the classes they wanted me to teach, and I even had a shop to work in. People didn't know it at the time. They thought I was a real artist, which I was, because I made stuff out of steel. When I look at Ziki, I see a person who has mastered iron. And not only has he mastered iron, but he has mastered iron in a way that really does traverse the past, the present, and the future. My brother and I both like art, and he has a view of the world that's different. Yuziki always wanted to bring attention to the heroes and people in the community that we should be paying attention to. Have people understand and, and, and realize it and make it an important part in their life. He created a space and a decision for the work to have two sets of artwork that were very, very interesting to me. One was artworks for communities that he did for a neighborhood and put into a, a, a park. He went out to establish landmarks, landmark work on his own, without grants, without you know, uh, other support. What Uziki has done, really, I think, is not just an act of resistance, but an act of extreme creativity. So, Uziki's art then represents a pioneering effort to introduce to the wider D.C. area African-centric art into public spaces. <laughs> 